Hello there, YouTube peoples. So, it's been a really long while since I've uploaded. I think this is the longest gap I've taken yet. And I'm sorry for that, but I'm gonna be back just avoiding the problem like we do. Like, you know, you know, you know. So, yeah. But this is my first ever video with face cam, so. I see you there, I see you, no, you see me, whatever. And um, so you can see this inception ass looking because I normally record with two monitors, but I am only using one right now. So yeah, that's why you can see me because I want to see me to make sure I look fine, but whatever. So let's close out of that. And um, so we are going to be making a Kashmir slash spinning record style song. Well, I made it and I'm gonna show you how I made it. So, um, okay, pause, hold up. This is um, Arthur from the future. I am gonna plug something real quick. So I recently started a BeatStars page. So like I can buy and sell, well, I'm selling beats over there along with a YouTube channel where I'm uploading all of these beats. So um, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys went over and followed and maybe if you guys want, if any, if you want, you can like buy a few beats over there and maybe like support a homie out, but like, so yeah. And if you don't want anything, maybe some of your friends want to become rappers, who knows? Yeah, so I'm just putting that out there. And yep, out there from the present, there you go. Or not present when I record the video, whatever. Let's just get on with the video. I will just play the build into the drop and then we can start breaking it down, so. Oh yeah, another thing. Uh, this is the first time I'm recording with speakers and not headphones on. So that's why um, my mic, I've set it up so that it cuts off whenever there's any audio coming from my speakers. You guys, let me know if you're fine with how that sounds. Otherwise, if you don't like how that sounds, then I'll just go back to recording with headphones. Like, it's fine. So yeah, let's hear the track. So that is the meat and potatoes of my song. How I began this was I started with the bass line because Kashmir has like really groovy bass lines. It's not just like many songs just have a solid that. Like that, many songs just have solid notes. But Kashmir likes to like have his bouncy, so. So that's what I did. Then I mimicked that with a brass stab and the sub bass and it sounded like this. Then we go on to the super saws. I had some chords to like fill up the whole space and this is what they sound like. So yeah, along with the bass, uh, that like really fills up a lot of the frequency spectrum. Then I added some leads. Uh, I think two of them are silent. Yeah, and there's one serum lead. So the there's a low lead. That isn't really low, but whatever. Then there's a rave lead. and a nasally lead. So together, um... So how I've processed these leads is pretty much just some compression and EQ and reverb, that's it. And uh, this is a trick which I showed you guys in one of my other videos, creating reverb throws like this. 
So that's what I'm doing. Whenever this automation opens up like that, reverb will be allowed to flow through. Kind of like it allows your synth to breathe. It's as if it's taking a breath, it sounds like this. Now pay attention to where this opens up. So that's pretty much all the drop synths already covered. There isn't a lot to this project, it's just... But it do be a banger though. Just saying, just saying, just saying. And uh, so then I have a kick, Kashmir kick. Almost all the samples are Kashmir. I f love the sounds of Kashmir pack. So yeah, then I have a clap. A tom. Then I have an, a close hi-hat. We get a little drum sound like this. Oh, I forgot about this. Oops. So I have like some side chained claps, which is four on the floor. Then I have a ride and some white noise. So this white noise basically follows the super saw chords. So all this together makes the drums pretty hype. And towards the end of the drums, I have like this short fill, which I wrote like with some snares and a Prida snare, cause who doesn't love Prida snares? Like they're the heart of EDM, come on. So that is the whole drop. Actually, no, there's one more element, the FX. I forgot about that. That's actually pretty important. Basically there's again, some more white noise, which is, it's like a side chain white noise. That also just adds some energy. And then there's this drone, which I'm using. So it on, it starts like this. But then over here, I harmonize it using little altar boy. Okay, so it's basically a fifth above the root. That's some music theory. So seven semitones above a note is the fifth from that note up. That's usually a very good way to harmonize stuff if you put it onto the fifth, because it normally sounds good, because the root and fifth are really important notes. In my opinion, I say the root is the most important, followed by the fifth. Then now let's go to the verse. Um, you haven't heard it yet, but I'll still break it down for you. There's a saw pluck that's opening up like this. It's literally just a simple serum, super saw-ish thing, a uh, saw and a square wave with, an, with the filter automated, that's all that's happening. Then I have a vocal job. So how I write my vocal jobs is I literally just create a track get an acapella uh like i think this is from never let me go virtual right it's in a zero g vocal foundry vocal pack i think yeah oh, you said never so i just chopped up like small bits of that pitched them around that's literally how i go about it i just like i like that bit so i'll just do that chop it take that chop take that and then i just arrange all the chops that i made in a way that i think sounds nice uh then another sound i have in my verse is a sign block that sounds like this that's basically just an arpeggio 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 there we go huh? i was getting confused there for some reason and a pluck bass which sounds like this literally just a super saw and luckiness coming from the cutoff automation and then we arrive at the build oh i can show you about the verse drums there's a tom that i love using basically it's pitched it goes from left to right and then uh it's like an octave then the octave above that so here you'll get it So if you're listening either with headphones or like on a stereo set of speakers, you'll be able to tell what's going on in terms of the panning. But you could tell how this was one octave and then this is an octave up. So yeah, pretty much that's what's happening. Then I have claps. Um, 
then I have pads which sound like this. So I'm pretty sure the main pad is, uh, yeah, it says D minor float. You can see in the bottom bar, that's from a Virtual Ride pack. I'm pretty sure Virtual Ride Total Atmos. And um, the LFO pad is basically a few more pads, which I just panned left and right. You can see how it, that's on the left and that's on the right and that's on the left and so on forth. So they just move there. You can see the shift happening. And if you zoom in, you can see how it's like plucky. So it's basically just an LFO tool. So what I did with that was, oh yeah, and you can see it's up there. It's already searched for because I was trying to record this earlier. I record the whole tutorial and messed up. So yeah, what you do is you just open up LFO tool, create a plucky shape like that, maybe like that. And then I just chose 1 16th rate, I think. That sounds like a 1 16th. Yeah, it's 116, but because I've already done it, that's why now it sounds extremely plucky. So this is what it sounds like. And it's just panning left to right. Uh, so yeah, that's the whole verse. Then we move on to the build. It gets all the leads from the drop and it literally just plays them low past. And then at this point, it starts pitching them up because like it's progressive house. You got to pitch everything up. Like that's how it works. And then there's this plugin called End the Smile. I have this on quite a few tracks. It just helps like create tension. It um, adds reverb, filters, and delay all in one knob. It's by Dada Life. So as you turn that up, you'll just get like, hey, you see that guy? Hey, that's so funny. That's so cute. Cute, not funny. But whatever, yeah. So it just adds like some tension. And then when it, you turn it off, the sound is bang shit up in your face again. So um, it just helps you like create some tension in the build up and then remove all that tension the second the drop hits um so yeah and then in the build drums it's basically a cinematic drum loop i would classify this as a tribal drum loop along with some snares and some claps So yeah, and then the, I have the same drop kick, I think. I've just shortened it so it becomes more snappy. And that's what I'm using in the build. Then, of course, you gotta have some effects. <laughs> so yeah, there's hella Kashmir in this project. Um, It's just some sweeps up, like I can open them. But they're all just like sweeps up, that's all the fx if you want to hear them they sound like this and that like alarm noise is an alarm well yeah so uh that's the verse in the second drop something which i've added actually are these angry saw leads so angry saw is basically a gladiator preset that's like really distorted saw leads it sounds like this so that sounds so unpleasant, but it adds a lot of harmonics into your mix. So if you EQ it well, which is that for some reason, like that's even, that that made it sound like plausible. Like if I turn off the EQ, so it's taming it like quite a bit compared to like without the eq so that's the only way i would have used this if it had like some intense eq so that's my second drop that's how i deferred it from the first pretty much i can go over the intro and the outro so in my intro it's i basically have the same mid bass that i had in the drop and um for the first half of the intro basically there's absolutely no sub bass like if you see this it says auto filter low cut and it said 100 hertz that means that everything below 100 hertz has been removed and then it drops down to 26 which means that everything's allowed to play so that's why the sub bass i played from here you could hear it but over there there's no like actual sub playing then the same way that i uh, did that there's a kick going on in the intro so for the first half of the kick of the intro it's a really shallow kick with like no low end and then after that it becomes a much beefier kick which has low end 
that's the first half that's the second half and then i literally just took some of the drums from the drop and put them in there to like add some tension and some of the build up drums to create a build up from the intro into the first verse then another thing i did was i just took the vocal chops that i have and i slowly faded them in so like if you look at that auto filter it's being automated up from there to there i've only kept a few notes so it's if you look at this it's not the whole ass vocal chop it's only a few of the notes so that like it just it's like a sneak preview like you know everyone loves their sneak previews uh the sneak peeks so yeah that's what my vocal chop is doing and that is pretty much the whole song is not that complicated if you actually think about it like i honestly thought it was way more complicated than this no cap but like breaking it down right now i realized it didn't have all that much like it do be a really nice track though like it do be bopin bopin that's a nice word <laughs> i'm gonna say bopin but whatever so yeah that is my comeback video it's wasn't Actually, I have no idea how long this has been. I'm not going to open OBS because you guys will get inceptioned again. And you know what? Let's just check. I missed it. I missed it again. 17 minutes. Never mind. That was a pretty long video. I feel so weird talking to a camera. I've never done this before. But so, yeah, let me know if you want to see more face cam. And another thing which I was wanting to know, would you want long videos like this? like longer longish videos or would you prefer if i just like had a cut com where i just showed you like the different sounds and didn't break them down that much but just showed you like i'll give you a tutorial like add a lead add a bass add a drum like that but like edited of course so would you want something like that or what the type of video which i had right now so yeah that has been my project daydream that's my song it's coming out this week sometime i'm gonna uh, set up a dis distro kit for myself and i shall publish this where your beautiful faces can go and check that out see ya oh no don't forget to like and subscribe i nearly forgot Please subscribe. I need subscribers. Please. I'm just trying to make some pocket money on the side. I'll invest that back into studio gear. So I'm going to get like monitors, um, studio monitors. Like I'm aiming to get HS sevens because eights are too big for my room and fives. Like I have to buy a sub along with them. So seven, I feel it's like the sweet spot. But yeah. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.